Hi guys, this is Vijay from Hardware Zone and today we're going to check out LG's flagship OLED TV Meet the LG G1 series OLED EVO TV Let's take a closer look So as we all know, OLED TVs, they deliver exceptional contrast in colours, inky blacks, lots of shades of colours accurately they do this really well on any OLED TV. But there's some aspects which they don't really accept very well, which is say suppose you're viewing cinema grade quality, movie screens or shows in that kind of setting, or you're viewing bright HDR scenes. These aspects, sometimes you kind of feel that you wish your OLED TVs were a bit brighter, more punchier. Now to solve this, LG's 2021 OLED TVs, especially the G1 series, it's using a new OLED EVO panel. This panel comes with an extra layer which is using a more immersive material. This allows more light to pass through and out of the screen. Now, in general OLED TVs, they kind of max out around 500 nits brightness. This one, LG says it will go way beyond 500 nits. They didn't really specify how much, but in my viewing and my usage, I can really tell because I own an OLED TV at home and this one is definitely punchier and brighter than my OLED TV. So, it really works. So powering it is an Alpha 9 Gen 4 processor. This is the brains and smarts of the entire TV, handles everything. Now with more light output and a better processor with better deep learning techniques, it's able to better optimize its output. And when combining the new processor and the new panel, LG promises better HDR performance and better daylight viewing capability. The next thing this new processor promises is better upscaling thanks to more advanced deep learning processing techniques. So it uses frame by frame analysis, scene analysis, even ambient lighting conditions and the genre of your content. All of this combined, it helps you output the best picture you can expect. So the new processor doesn't just stop at enhancing the pictures, but it also improves on your audio quality. So there's a new mode in the audio settings called AI Sound Pro Mode. So what this new sound mode does is it analyzes voices, effects, background effects, scene, everything put together and it optimizes the audio output that best delivers as to what the AI thinks it should be like. So I've actually tried this out in uh, the movie Star Wars Solo. So let's check it out. So I chose this dark grungy indoor scene. Uh, so let's have a feel of how it sounds like before we engage the AI Sound Pro. You mean your ship playing cards? Oh, I want a lot of things. I once won a subtropical moon in the Ocean Belt. Wow. Turned out to be a real money pit. <laughs> okay, sounds normal, flat. Let me engage AI Sound Pro mode. What are you playing? T6 100. Mm. That is a quality ship, right, boys? Like. What happened in AI Sound Pro mode is that it doesn't just increase volume, it actually analyzes the scene pretty well. So I tried the same sound clip, the sound uh, portion over there, by just increasing the volume, it doesn't give me the same kind of feel and effect. So with AI Sound Pro engaged, I feel like I'm in the scene, I'm thrown in the scene, and I can really feel all the cacophony of noises around me. So. I could say the AI Sound Pro really works. Of course, this really depends on the smarts of the TV. It may not work 100% of your content, but when it does work, I think you will like what you can hear without having to resort to uh, buying surround sound speakers and thereabout. Now, in terms of Dolby Atmos content, unlike earlier model TVs where a Dolby Atmos content might just restrict you to a picture mode which is best interpreted and defined by the filmmaker. Uh, these days, like this the latest G1 OLED TV, it gives you more options to play with. And there are other Dolby Vision picture modes, like if I can crank it up to Cinema Home, not just out of brightness, take note, the colour and accuracy are still well kept. It's not blown out whatsoever. It's actually very nice and pleasing when you're actually viewing it up front with your, with your own eyes. This is standard, and you can even go up all the way to vivid. So this is the max. In person, it looks really swell. It's really unlike older TVs where it 
might give you less optimal output in terms of the accuracy but these are all Dolby Vision picture modes which make sure it retains the accuracy and uh, colors as faithful as possible. Beyond what we just showcased, the TV has something really new called Dolby Vision IQ. This incorporates the metadata of the content viewed in addition to taking in the light input of your ambient surroundings by the TV. So all this data combines to give you the most optimal output that's best suitable for your home, your surroundings and even incorporating the content genre that you're viewing. Uh, but Dolby Vision IQ content is really nascent right now, it's really new. But just like Dolby Vision and uh, Dolby Atmos content, in time to come, there'll be plenty of it. And you'll be happy to know that the G1 OLED TV is one of the first few TVs to support it. Let's talk about something more appealing visually, like design. Uh, we kind of seen a glimpse of this. This is the new Web OS 6. It's a marked difference over the older LG TVs. So it's much more modern, updated. It's much more in line with all the new content streaming services. And that's exactly what your homepage is right now. Full of channels, uh, mode settings and everything else, as long with related TV shows and movies that you could watch. So all this is in the, is in the home screen. Now, in addition to the new WebOS design, we have a brand new remote. This may not look like much at first glances, but if you see here, this is the old remote. On my left, on my right, this is the new remote. Similar but yet improved. So it is slimmer, sleeker. You can see the buttons are more defined. So if I'm trying to feel through the buttons, the new one is better. It's better weighted as well. It's definitely improved remote. Uh, what I wish it had is if it was backlit buttons, but well, too bad, I can't have it off. But what you do get is shortcut buttons. If you see down here, you'll see all the video streaming services, you know, uh, be it Amazon, Disney Plus, Netflix. It's just a button press away and you can go jump right into it. As addition to that, you have Amazon Alexa as well as Google Assistant buttons built right over there and then if you press the navigation buttons, it immediately switches from the pointer to a navigation button format. Other aspects that the remote has improved is it incorporates NFC functionality as well. So pairing with, with modern Bluetooth devices that support NFC functions, it's a lot easier. You just pair it with the remote over here. And how can we not forget to talk about the actual physical design of the TV. Look at it. So as you can see here, I'm running the Art Gallery app as well, and you can see all the beautiful pictures and treat it like a live art gallery of sorts. So there's different themes that LG has already got in their app uh, that will allow you in terms of relaxation or different art series. Also, it's up to you and you can go down on more to fulfill this art gallery portion to your needs. What we want to bring about here is that how thin, sleek and neat this whole TV is, right? This is really one of the thinnest TVs around you could get. Uh, unlike some TVs where they may be thin in the sides and bloat up at the back or rear whatsoever, this is super thin and sleek all through at any point of the TV. Uh, it's, it's thinner than the top portion of my finger. That's how thin this TV is because it's using self lit pixel technology. So less components, no backlighting accessories and whatsoever, less layers, everything is direct. And so it is so slim. And it's surprisingly, they can even incorporate fairly decent set of speakers within the slim build as well. This is a, a gallery series TV. If you want to put the G1 TV on your desk, it's an optional stand, or you could use it just like how we're doing using a gallery stand, which is also another optional buy. So these are just options, but default out of the box, uh, the G1 series is meant to be put on your wall. And this is the slim built flush mount that comes with it. But don't worry, you don't have to wall mount it yourself. Wall mounting is free for all LG G1 series TVs. But let's say you don't want to wall mount. What are your options then, right? Because we said that 
this TV is a default wall mount option, only that is provided. So what we have here is the gallery stand that came along with this TV. So this is a $449 extra purchase. It will take in the 55 inch and 65 inch versions of the G1 series TVs. So you can see here, this is how it is. And all of these receptacles, actually LG sells additional companion brackets so that you can mount your setup boxes at the back here. So this means if you are using a gallery TV, and you know if you don't have a place to actually have your setup boxes not to worry all the setup boxes can be mounted behind all the cabling goes right behind connected to the tv so this is really well thought of by lg to make sure that you can enjoy a clean looking gallery stand all right uh, and over here you will notice this is how your wiring goes through right the wiring goes through here the primary cable that will run through here is your power cord to wherever your wall mount socket is. So it runs through this pipe down here, all through the feed, and it comes out here neatly. So your cable management aspects is kind of taken care of by this uh, sturdy looking gallery TV stand. There's still a few more features I want to showcase. Remember, this is still a smart TV. Let's check out the ThinQ Home Dashboard. What I want to show you is a new function where you can use multiple speakers. So you can connect up to two other Bluetooth speakers and set it up as your surround speakers of sorts. So it can be LG speakers and there's also a whole list of other Bluetooth speakers that LG supports for this functionality. So the key thing is it needs both devices to be of the same model. Then you can set it for TV sound plus the two Bluetooth devices which you can put behind and they can act as your Bluetooth surround speakers for your TV. That's a new interesting way of utilizing uh, the TV's capability as well as a very quick and easy manner to get your surround sound without spending too much with a whole new setup and whatnot. Another function we want to talk about is gaming, game optimizer mode. So this is uh, new and enhanced in all the LG 2021 TVs. It supports much lower input latency and up to just one millisecond response time. You can enable it down here, game optimizer under general settings, switch it on and as you can see it supports variable refresh rate, G-Sync, AMD FreeSync compatible thanks to 4 HDMI 2.1 ports so it is pretty future proof and ready for anything you throw at it or anything that is up and coming. Alright so we've gone through a lot of new things in terms of features, design, capabilities of a new LG G1 OLED EVO TV from 2021 right but that's not all. LG has actually launched quite a lot of new TVs, OLED TV models this year. So you have the all new A series, B series, C series, and the top end G series. All right. Now let's go through about what's common for all of these models. What you will get with all these models is Dolby Vision IQ, Dolby Atmos, HDR10 Pro, Filmmaker Mode, the new Web OS 6, the game optimizer. So a lot of these features are common across all of the TVs. However, I would say the minimum entry level that you should consider is the B series, which is one step up. Why? Because now all of your ports on the B series onwards have HDMI 2.1. And this is very important as you see in your connecting devices. A bit if you want to take advantage of a 4K, 120Hz, or you want to take advantage of the VRR technology through HDMI 2.1 ports and this is really important for gaming be it PS5 or, H or the Xbox Series X right so in my opinion don't skimp go with the B series at the very least now C series C series adds on the new Alpha 9 Gen 4 AI processor so all the smart processing technologies the latest bits of this to enhance what the panel can do, what the TV can process, is all on the C-series onwards. So that's like a top of another 200 or thereabout, as you can see from the table. Only the G-series, albeit a bit more expensive, only the G-series will give you the new OLED EVO panel. So if you want to make sure you can enjoy your OLED television in brighter scenes, more tough HDR scenes, and enjoy the brighter output, then please take the G-Series. 
So there you have it. We've gone through the entire LG's OLED 2021 TV stack. So if you want the smartest, brightest, cleverest TV, get the OLED G series. So with that, we wrap up and I say adieu. See you in the next TV show. Hi LG, turn off the TV. Okay, I'll turn off the TV.